An unlikely collaboration results in a revolutionary new tool at the University of Kansas School of Engineering for researchers exploring new methods to treat spinal deformities. One of the reasons for this is because there doesn't exist a test machine that can do the things that need to be done to mimic physiological or natural human motion. Erin Mannon, a PhD student in mechanical engineering, is using the new device which was custom made for her research. It allows for much more lifelike testing on ailments such as scoliosis by allowing researchers to study unconstrained movement throughout the entire length of a cadaveric spine with the ribcage still attached. There's not a good standard in the field that correctly tests these devices so that we know that they won't fail in the body or that we can be fairly sure that they won't fail when they're implanted. Current testing models have limited range of motion, limited physical space around the machine, cannot accommodate a full rib cage, and have no uniform standard from lab to lab. The new device is the brainchild of Norm Carroll, a 1951 KU School of Engineering graduate and founder and retired CEO of Applied Test Systems, which develops and tests a wide variety of materials, machines, and other devices. Norm is an innovator at heart. He can see a problem and immediately start just thinking of, of different solutions. Carol collaborated with Manon and developed the machine in his spare time. The research is conducted in the lab of Lisa Fries, associate professor of mechanical engineering. She's amazed by Carol's dedication to his craft and his alma mater. He has such devotion to making this product concept come through and working with KU to make this happen. It was such a cool and simple invention that got the job done without any extra bells and whistles. The value that Norm has brought to the department and the University of Kansas is immeasurable, I think, and I'm just really happy to be a part of it.